never know what you're going to find. Yeah, you never know. Produce piling up cabbage, covering 490 today, bringing traffic to a halt. All of this happening during the rush hour this morning. It kept traffic in the eastbound lanes of 490 to a crawl until just after lunchtime. Kelsey Smith live there now, been there throughout the day, uh, watching the cabbage clean up, and uh, we turn to you now for the latest, Kelsey. Well, Don, you wouldn't have much idea that that even happened earlier this morning if you're heading out on 490 tonight. There's a few heads of cabbage left over on the shoulder of the road, but the road is clear after a semi truck flipped, throwing its cabbage across eight lanes of the interstate. And as the day got warmer, the cabbage started sticking to the roadway. For miles, cars sat with drivers wondering what was slowing down their Monday morning commute. A lot of traffic backed up. Because of this mess. That's a lot of cabbage. It's a lot of cabbage. A semi truck carrying 29 tons of cabbage. It's probably a lot of coleslaw now, actually. It tipped over, as state police say the driver may have changed lanes quickly to avoid another vehicle. Could have stuck right to the pavement very well. Shovels help scrape up the leafy greens clinging to the road. If it um, molds to the pavement well enough, it's just like driving on uh, snow or ice. Bobcats picked up the bigger pieces, and cleanup crews say that the hardest part was actually getting to the crash scene. We were almost an hour and a half sitting in traffic to get here. It's making me hungry, and I, <laughs> I want to go grab something to eat right now, a salad or something. <laughs> it's not the first time produce has spilled in this area. Back in 2010, a semi carrying corn overturned, sending kernels all over the interstate. Yeah, obviously this is not the first time we've had a, a high profile accident like this. It's just a sharp turn and if you don't make the turn at the right speed at the right timing, obviously something like this can happen. State police tell me their investigation into this crash is still ongoing. They aren't sure yet if speed was a factor. The truck, we're told, was heading from a farm in Hamlin to a sauerkraut plant in Shortsville. Live in Rochester, Kelsey Smith, 13 Wham News.